said before pandemics can affect the economy in various different ways and we'll show you a couple reasons you know why and how like in the short video we're about to show you right now they can you know close off borders I know I'm sick but I must see my family no. ah! stay out of my country will you stay now, as you can see in that uh, not so funny uh, last clip, you know that that actually hurt a little bit. But anyway, another point. Point is, there's multiple other ways that pandemics affect um, us and you know our day-to-day -day lives, as in airports and people that work there. They lose their jobs because people that are sick are like, no, no, you can't fly anymore. So that really sucks. Same things with docks. People that work on the docks, you know, they can't do their job because people are not allowed out of the. Alright, and like I said again, and you know, another video, jeez, a lot. But anyway, uh, there's another topic that we have, businesses, you know, uh, whenever pandemics and junk start happening, businesses, you know, they start to get away from people that are sick and countries that are sick. Hey, hey, over here. Alright, see, people, you know, that make beanies, like, the one, the rock and beanie I just had, you know, they just start to leave things like, you know, different countries that get sick often. And you, thanks, um, you never know when that's going to happen because pandemics are just crazy and we never know, you know, if anything's ever going to happen. You know, man, I got a couple of fools back, you know, south of the border. We got a couple, you know, cocoa plants and I'm just trying to see if you want a, you know, piece of that pie, you Give me some of that cut, that share later. Me and my boy Migos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> all right, boy. Um, <laughs> you get yourself some help. All right, no, I'm out. All right, I'm back. see you, boy. Good deal. And now for our final video. I know, I'm glad about it too. Yeah. Anyway, this is the last and almost. I would say probably the, the most important one is people just don't want to leave their homes and houses anymore. There's no more, you're calling little Jimmy to come play with you, but my little Jimmy's sick and dying. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, homie, the deal didn't really work out, but I got some money for you. If you want to come hang out, we go hit the bar. You want to come? You know, man. Um, here you go. I'm probably dead, so good luck. Tell my family I love her. <clears throat> Action! So, Today, we're going to be talking about Wall Street and its effects not only on the United States, but the global economy. And that's shown in many ways, but the most important of those ways has got to be the New York Stock Exchange. And that's what we're going to mainly focus on in this educational video. Today, like we said earlier, we're going to be talking about the uh, Wall Street. On the stock exchange, as seen here, it goes up and down, just like our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. But 
one thing you can know is there are benefits, but it's a dangerous road ahead. You can buy things and you can get money and you can even become rich. Like me. But you can also be like most people, like my dear friend, Garrett Kurtz, who is now dying of a pandemic because he is brutally and utterly poor. From this, not only you'll learn that you can be just like me, an epic sax guy, but a poor piece of dirt like Garrett Kurtz. <laughs> Andrew had a point with his uh, earlier statements about the stock market being a risky business and dangerous endeavor to embark in, considering the fact that put, investing all your money in one company could either make you rich or screw you over. As you can see here, it worked out. Uh, he kind of uh, got the short end of the stick on this one. Uh, hey, you can you can take a break, Andrew. Here, take take five. Take five. So anyway, as you can see, I'm the one. Oh, oh, you're fired, buddy. Anyway, so as you can see, uh. <laughs> We, I, or we, my company actually, but me, myself, am a very rich person now because I invested in a company that was making a lot more money while his company crashed and he needed a job, so he came to me after calling me dirt poor. But anyway, back to the topic. <clears throat> when the stock market crashes and bad things happen in this sense, or when a company crashes, it can lead to bad things like the stock market crash in 1929. Where the company or the country was crippled and went to the Great Depression, but this is a very bad thing in a lot of senses for people who invest their money in these companies because all the money that they put in they can't get back. But at the same token, you have a good chance of a company skyrocketing if you pay attention to the news on them and their economic growth uh, over the period of time, and you can make a lot more money reselling the stocks uh, or stock yeah stocks to them for you know moolah. As we were saying through this very, very, very long presentation with all of these lovely, <coughs> terrible uh, videos that we have presented to you, we're finally done. That's right, kids, we are done. Now, through everything that we've told you, you've learned pandemics are not the best thing, you know, to happen. And, uh, you know, crashes and stock markets can affect everybody. On this terrible day that we have and Garrett laying on this wet concrete, maybe you've learned a tiny bit or two from us. And uh, if not, well then you probably weren't paying attention to the means that we threw in here. Uh, with that being said, that's hurtful. Uh, pay attention and I love you. Goodbye. And with that being said, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> With that being said, Jeremy the Minnow. I get all the money, let's get it. Me and a couple of my fools, you know what I'm saying? We got we got a couple of shovels, shovels. <laughs> I'll do the yo what's up man. You know what I'm saying, man? Me and a couple of my pals over, you know, back on the south on the other side of the border. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Why? No. Shut up, nobody loves you. <laughs> 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 hey, little Jim. Yo, little Jim. <laughs> Wall Street. <laughs> and no matter what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, we messed up, and now we have to redo this. Shut up. Some floor it fell. Okay. <laughs>
it. We need the phone and the camera. Okay. La 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 la. The different, uh, you know, stuff that Wall Street does for us. You know? You suck. Shut up, Kevin. Oh, where's your phone? Like, no, I don't want. I'm eating the Smarties over on the side in this. Stop eating the Smarties! No, but am I? You see that? The camera right there. There's an FBI agent in there. How's it going, Tina? The right eye wink. Mm. What the? Wait, just stop. You go to sleep, I'm gonna sit on your face. Alright. <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Just... <laughs> you start off with you fanning me, and I'm like, faster, Andrew. Go. Me, sir. <laughs>